So this dude, Alex Medina, I moved to New York City. I was in college. It was my freshman year. I'm still a mess, <laughs> struggling with sin, um, unregenerate, man. My, I mean, this guy's so, it's hilarious. <laughs> Chilling. This is a hilarious story. And what, here was my situation. I, I had had a, a real encounter with Jesus um, when I was between 7th and 8th grade. So I had a real encounter, but I came home, really had no spiritual development take place after that. So I'm... Still feeling conviction of sin, knowing that Jesus is real, but still walking in my flesh and not having any kind of accountability, and like nothing, no home church. So I go off to college and the Lord's really convicting me, dealing with my sin. And that whole time, the only thing that was really like my encouragement was guys like the truth, ambassadors. So from a distance, I'm riding in my car and... Which car? The, the car oh, that right. I had when I was in Syracuse. Oh, right okay, okay. And um, I'm in that car and I'd be listening to their stuff and just mad conviction, like, man, I really want to serve the Lord, but I love my, my lifestyle of sin more. And so uh, the Lord's working on me, he's dealing with me. And so I was like, man, I really, I'm a rapper at that point. I want to make Christian rap. I think every like- Super zealous. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I want to make Christian rap because <laughs> I really want to, I want to do it for God, but man, my heart's not in the right place. And so I tried writing a Christian rap song. I don't even want to mention it. Somebody might go try to dig it up. And so I make it, and I meet Alex in a piano class at City College of New York. Now, mind you, this dude used to have a full head of curly, yes. gelled up hair. <laughs> and he and I could tell he was a producer because he really didn't know how to play the piano. He's kind of <laughs> digging around. But every time we had an opportunity to take the headphones off, he's trying to, like, I could tell they were like rap beats he's making. So I'm like, yo, you produce? That's how we met, right? And so we, we meet and he's like, yeah, bro, I actually do Christian hip hop. And I was like, what? Hold up. Never met anybody before. And he's like, yeah, take this CD. Here's this magazine at every class. He would come and like give me something new and be like, yeah, bro. That's what this kid's good for. I remember one time we had a flame CD. He let me borrow it. One of the CDs that came out. And I was like, oh, word. Thanks, man. He's ministering to somebody in the hallway at City College. I'm like, yo, man, here, thanks. She's like, oh, word up. Bro, you should listen to this. Like, you didn't even, like as soon as I got it, he's giving it away to somebody else. And I was like, oh, that's funny. So he, um, he's just always had a heart, a heart for ministry and witnessing to people. And so we were talking, and um, he invites me out to truce, you know, to uh, the Saturday rehearsals that they would have, and I would come. You gotta out tell us when we came to your apartment. Yeah, yeah, that's what you gotta. Can talk I about. skip that part? That's embarrassing. <laughs> no, that's actually what you have to talk <laughs> about right to here. Show. So, anyways, yeah. uh, I met him. He's like, "Yo, come meet my buddy Rich." So Rich used to go to campus there too. We all went to college together, so. And so, I met Rich, and he's like, "Hey, what's up, dude? Yeah, what's up?" I was like, "Yo, I make Christian rap too." It was that one rap song I had, the one Christian one. <laughs> So I was like, yo, y'all can come over to my dorm and hear it. And they're like, sure, man. So we walk over to the dorm, right? And I go to pull up, like, the song. And I'm, like, trying to dodge all the porn files that I have on my computer. Oh my like, to pull up my Christian rap song to show them. I'm like, oh, yeah, give me a minute. Uh, just trying to <laughs> show you. Oh, yeah. and, I remember that during uh, yesterday. That yeah, bad. Yeah, they're sitting on my yeah, bed, did, and he's like, you know, I could just see Rich, like, oh, looking at Alex. Like, that, file, that file is deep. In the computer, where's that uh, MP3? <laughs> so I'm like hide and stuff. The shame is just destroying my face. I'm like I can't. Even, what do I, what do I, do? <laughs> I play the song. They're like, mm, cool. Can we pray for you, bro? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's it. That's exactly and I was like, dude, that's yeah. Hilarious. And Rich was like, Father. And then like, he was like, no. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. We should make rap music. And now I feel like a herb because every kid comes up to me now like yo yo dude I do Christian rap listen to my CD and I'm like delete your porn first bro because <laughs> <You know? laughs> I know exactly what's going on yeah. so but by God's grace man like they were instrumental in my discipleship um, with truce and it's one thing to be zealous about Jesus and then come into a community where people are able to look like you relate mm, to you yeah. help you understand what the context of how you understand culture like they're able to Share Jesus in, a, in a, an applicable way, and the, the year, about a year I spent with Truce before, yeah. about a year, just two, coming year to and rehearsals half, and stuff like that. Coming to rehearsals every Saturday, discipleship community, and then, so these guys were instrumental in that. And now, it's so funny, me and Rich live uptown um, in Washington Heights, and he's the lead um, pastor of a church plant that's happening, and I'm helping out with a church plant, like to be a part of that and moved into the community so we could be a part of what's going on there and 
it's just crazy to see the Lord's yeah. grace, how he's used all these years and stuff to That's dope. Show, shape us, mold us, and mm -hmm. go on and make this. Yesterday, stuff. I was like, when they announced it, I was just like, you thinking back uh, I, I was about I was to tear so up. I was, I was oh, so emotional, son. man. <laughs> like, it, was, it, was encourage, it was so encouraging to see, like, how, because me and Rich could test to, like, just see the trajectory. And, it's like, and just, like, the that wrestling with him, and at times, like, he'll piss you off. It's like, yo, you act like an idiot. Stop. Like, love Jesus. And just seeing the growth. Um, of what the Lord has done in his life, so it's been encouraging to see that yeah. um, and just walk with him. So, yeah, Son, yeah, it was really emotional. Mm -hmm. Andy spent like four, more, three or four months living with us, with me, and my wife, and my son for a while, and um, just seeing him yesterday and, and seeing what you know where God has taken him, it was extremely yeah. emotional, bro. Yeah, just extremely <laughs> blessed to be a part of this dude's life, man. Yeah. That's good.